Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as the Lucky 38, but really, New Vegas, led by Mr. Mr. House. But we shall begin with Judgment Day. In 2065, House predicted that a nuclear exchange between the US and China would take place within the next 15 years, and decided to put all of his resources into protecting his home city of Las Vegas. He had his own hotel, the Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radar jamming systems, missile raids, a laser defense network, and life support systems. A one day focus, well. Also, I do want to let you know, uh, as it flashes on screen, um, I'm using a special sub-mod called Old World Blues New Vegas Sub-Mod version to the house and the Securitron, which changes up the focus tree just a little bit, which adds a few more focuses to basically Mr. House's path with Love Marilyn, as well as the, as a man entitled to a platinum chip, as well as kind of the journey to discover the platinum chip, so I really wanted to test it out, and I haven't actually played New Vegas at the Tempest recording in a while, so I figured... Why not? And as you can see, I just disappeared. The State Transfer Tool mod is what we're using, as well as Play with Peace Conferences, Oral Blues, and Oral Blues Radio. Five mods in total for this campaign. And actually, if, if compared to the old tree, the vanilla tree, uh, you see the Family Man over here? Um, this Family Man in base Old World Blues is actually part of the Joker tree, which I guess the mod creator cut off and put it over here, because we can still deal with the, I guess, family issues. But, the Great War. There was only ever one constant in Vegas, and it was change. I was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stuff every missile. I had prioritized protecting the suburbs in a few seconds I had a spare. My laser defenses targeted missile industries headed for military industry. Now, I, I'll be honest here, talking about factories and stuff, we have Securitrons. We've got Police Protectrons, and I'll be honest, I can't remember which which or what is a better template to use for robots at the time of this recording. Uh, these guys have a crap ton of suppression. That's an extremely good amount of suppression. Um, they... They use just a few, little bit of sport equipment because we have logistics. They use 100 security robots, and these guys use 125 because this is 10 combo with. This one is actually, oh, 10 combo with, with as well. Well, they're both 10 combo with, but you need extra battalion for these guys. So, I don't exactly remember, but these guys have way less organization than the heavy robots do. But, I think for now, let's get some civvies. I like civvies. Followed up with Incomplete OS. Following the valiant defense of New Vegas, House was thrown into a violent coma, and the majority of his dad and robots found themselves corrupted and, and inoperable for the following decades, silent protectors incapable of moving or thought. When House returned to consciousness, he had a choice to make. Did he dare attempt to salvage his more advanced OS, or did he simply fall back on a stable version? Good questions. Without the Platinum Chip, I couldn't upgrade my Securitron through my defenses, numerous pre-war cuts, rampant data corruption, I had a coma where the result of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice of refusing an old and very stable version of my pre war OS, or attempting to salvage and use an incomplete OS, which was designed to be more capable of addressing waste on threats. I installed a much older and stable version. I like that. Plus 15% division organization. That's actually really, really good for us because robots don't have a lot of organization. At least, you know, the Securitrons don't. Research speed is really cool. Or I took a risk and attempted to salvage parts of the incomplete OS. Um, honestly, this looks very dangerous to use. You get more soft attack and hard attack. You lose defense, organization, and research speed. I think last time I played New Vegas, I don't know for certain. I think I used this one, which is really good. I want to go with unstable OS for this time and just see what happens. Three families. House hopes to rebuild the world, and to do so, he has to stop by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with the three great casinos that once rivaled his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for such establishments, those who can be easily controlled and bring Vegas the moxie he's going to need in the future. Before the war, Las Vegas was a city of dreams, where fortunes were won and lost in an instant. To recapture that feeling and reap their profits, to draw a crowd from across the way center with bright neon lights, I need to reopen the casinos, and they needed families to run them. Vegas shall become the shining jewel of humanity's future. New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas didn't happen quickly, and between spending money hunting for his precious platinum chip and micromanaging the families of the strip, House has found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did some fi find some time and money to invest in Vegas itself. My New Vegas was slowly coming together despite my early awakenings, but decisions remained. I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas and a poor free side, or I could attempt to include all of Vegas in my grand vision. Inner Vegas? Or improving the outer Vegas? I like the roads, I really do, but I want to get more workshops for now. Inner Vegas was my, our priority. Followed up with, we're just going to immediately go with old authority because I want to get the extra political power, stability, and more support. Long ago, I ruled Vegas with my machines and my wealth. There were none in the city who could stand against me now more than ever. 
That is true. They shall again learn to respect the name Robert House. My authority must be absolute if I am to save this world from the mess it has become, reopening Gamora. My first priority in my quest to rebuild Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the dregs who have squatted in it for centuries. The outskirts could wait. The immediate area surrounding by the Lucky 38, the coveted Vegas Strip, was fiercely contested by two tribes, both Slytherkin and the Great Khans had a focus on drugs, and their shared business made them competitors and enemies. It was clear to me that I would have to choose one group over the other if I desired to unite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial propositions to both groups came, look, came up lukewarm, with a prideful great cons rejecting me outright, and Slytherkin dubious to my intentions. Then the fiercest fighting between them began, and I saw my opportunity. No doubt the tribes of my choosing would see reason after my Securitrons ejected the other from Vegas permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly, like the Mafia used to before the Atom, but however... Even if I saved the Great Khans, I was splitting them into two, thanks to their stubborn Papa Khan. And as well, slowly kin, while they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Khans, they were still that much more slippery. The envious eyes said it all. Ultimately, I made my choice, and I'm going to make the wrong choice here. Every time I do this, I always choose the other decision that people want me to do, so it is what it is. Slither kin were incredibly dangerous, and that's why I like them so much. Oh, so you get the Omertas, which I actually really like that one. We'll probably go with the Omertas. Gamora, I love Gamora. Oh, yeah. You lose recruitable population. You get better political power. Consumer goods factors, resist, less resistance target, and better trade tariffs. Versus consequences be darned, I would have my conate. You get way better reinforced rate, but you lose stability. Oof. Oh man, the false cons. Justify all. Oh, oh, you get more tech and justify war gold stops minus thirty percent. That's so good. Ah. Oh. Long live the conate, or long live the con. We can go straight to war with them. Oh, good. We're oh, burying the hatch is not bad. The omertas. You get more resource efficiency, you lose stability, you get more cap. You get even better consumer goods, you lose the trade tariffs. You get more money, and you get even less resistance targets. So this could be really good for trying to expand and keep resistance low. And a mobster army for factories. Oh man, that's painful. I like both. I like the false con. I mm, I gotta go with Omatas. Slow the can right now. Mm, mm, yeah, we gotta do that one. Gamora. Where the strips of the casinos are refined. The Gamoras are rough around the edges, of course. As they offer sleazy... Uh, Sexual uh, relations for sale. On top, top of the attractions, this is uh, prostitution, then booze, and then drugs, and finally, good old gambling. Reopening the Lux Ultra Lux. After dealing with the largest confrontation Vegas had seen in decades, I wield my newfound influence with great effect. Following my display of power, many disenfranchised groups approached me for support, while others made known of their opposition to my actions. For better or for worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the time the Fiends, and a group whose name is better left unsaid. The former of the two were the vicious raiders, drug addicts, and utter savages. Their leader, Motor Runner, had a kind of criminal intelligence about him, and had reigned supreme in Vegas' ruined southern portions for years. However, despite their reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so. Cannibals! That's what they were. Devourers of the human body's forbidden fruit, too. They squatted in Vegas' peak of refinement, the Ultra Lux, and hid from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either I beat the cannibalism out of my neighbors, or I had the fiends show them how delectable their own innards were. The choice was simple. I uplifted the dawn to give, to become my white gloves. I like white gloves. I let the fiends paint the town red. A formal invitation. I don't know. The fiends are okay. I kind of want to kill them myself. So, I love the gloves. Anyone about that, please go ahead. I've already played 3.2. Thank you. At least I hope I played 3.2 before. And pre-war bottle cap factory. Oh, recently our scouts have stumbled upon something magnificent. A massive pre-war bottle cap production facility. Fortunately for us, our currency is based on these little bits of metal. Yippee. We can easily cop these home to spend on definitely not booze. Or we can seal this place up, then blow it off the face of the earth. Your choice, Mr. House. Enough to take a bath in. You get a lot of money. You lose some caps for quite a while. Just smithereens. I want to see what happens when it goes kaboom. Oh, there was a sound effect there. Something went boom kaboom. And actually, I guess we're going to get... How much do we get? 1.48. That's really nice. Um, they say that they have that many divisions. I kind of want to just go to war immediately. There's a problem. Oh! Ah, well, attention's not high enough. Ah, reopening the tops, though. After cleaning up the Ultra Lukes, for the better or for worse, I had one final casino to staff. The tops. In its prime, the tops was a place for the respectable middle-class working man. It did not offer carnal pleasures like its neighbor Gamora, nor were its drinks as expensive cigars like in the Ultra Lukes. It was a place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was populated with class acts. My Vegas needed that, a place for common people. And to recreate that feeling of comfort, I need a classy crew. Thankfully, Vegas has no shortage of suave individuals looking to shortchange a fellow man. 
Two groups stuck out to me from amongst the rest. The Boot Riders and the Kings, a former tribe of nomads to at first glance. Had nothing to do with pompadours and big band. However, an upstart among the ranks, Benny was looking to shake things up and modernize a group. On the other hand, although rambunctious and rowdy, the Kings were already everything I needed and more. Their stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough. It was time to swing. Oh, for or swing to make a comeback. Despite being a snake, Benny's intelligence proved irresistible. Irresistible. You lose a lot of population, though. The king's ooze old world style, the choice was simple. Ooh, ooh, I want to go with the king's but chairman. Oh, uh, that's not bad. I wonder if we get cooed by him. That's not that's not too bad, actually. The king's, though. We get more stability, worse for construction speed. I like that. That's okay. And secure the north. That's okay as well. You build a lot. Uh, you build some. Yeah, this stuff that won't really matter eventually. I don't want to lose our pee, -pee though. I like the kings. I like the kings. The tops, tops. Do we, do we go with... Uh, Benny? Is Benny worth going with? Uh, the tops, 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 tops. The chairman. You lose so much population. That seems like... Ooh. Really, minus 1%. That's so much. Ooh, do I do it? I did choose... You know what? Let's make it a little bit more difficult for us. Let's make it more difficult. <laughs> Let's do the chairman. Oh, man. I'm going to regret that. You and me and Gamora. Why not? And we are currently on veteran pathfinders? Um, well, I did say that this was a unique mod, so... Alright, the old matters. Uh, let's do the tops. The tops offers a classic Vegas experience with cool, hip, fun, macho posturing to entice those with a sense of style. This is a place for manly men with a day money charm, and the people that run it here are just as ritzy. Where are we do we're not demobilizing anymore. Okay, so we're at 7%. Okay, yeah. Chairman, we'll see what happens. After the tops, we're gonna do economic miracle, maybe? Yes? Oh, we lose. Oh, we lose so much PP. Oh, man, that hurts me. That hurts me so much. Oh, but we get Jane's comfort as well as love, Marilyn. Why are these focuses so short? The outer strip. These, why are these four days? Okay, maybe this mod is not. Re this submod is not. I don't know if it's a submod or not, but if it's a submod, holy crap. <laughs> this is kind of nuts. Let's talk about the Ultra Lux. The Ultra Lux, or Lux, is an establishment of incredible refinement that delicately conceals its operators' more questionable tendencies. Ooh, there are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the Strip. And we like the Strip. Or two Strip. Probably the Strip, not two Strip. But hey, you know what? Not my place. The comment on stuff like that. Oh, here we go. The search for the Platinum Chip. The Platinum Chip. Is the one thing House has his complete eye on at all times. It is key for all plans Mr. House has. How what? Caps will need to be spent to retrieve it or special decisions. Note, if you take new management, this system will be cancelled and, and use base old world blues. Um, scavenger company, set equipment to research info. Alright, so, research complicated circuitry, digging technology. Uh, we got, we got to spend some money. We got to make some serious cash then. The chairman, the old matters. Uh, yeah, we can build stuff really fast. The consigliere's. Well, we went the like white glove society. The white glove society has become a long way from the traditional cannibal roots. With fancy masks and jazzy suits, they hope to make people forget what they once were by simply becoming something else entirely. Right, great. Oh, oh, that's gonna take forever to do. Um, let's do. Oh, I don't want to hurt her pee pee, man. Outer strip politics. So uh, I cannot focus all my attention on the strip. There's the occasional nuisance outside my domain that I need to deal with at times. Brawling in the sewers. Clean the suburbs? Well, we can't do that one yet. Let's come back up here and do this stuff. The casinos. The Omertas. A highly organized and deadly group of mobsters, the Omertas control the Gamora Casino. A CZ vice den on the grand scale and as such embodies the ruthless exploitation beneath the glitz and glamour of the strip's neon signs. Followed up with the chairman. The chairman embody an ancient, cool aesthetic of Vegas, plucked from Mr. House's historical databanks, molded to be the slickest cats in town. The chairman has become more than wannabe gangsters. They become the genuine article, dangerous men playing dangerous games. Ooh. We like it when the games are dangerous. And Oh, we can do Family Man immediately. Actually, we'll probably do that one too after we get Benny, just because we want to make as much money as possible. No one gets anywhere in this life without a little bit of help. A nice, healthy support structure to carry him through the bad times. Luckily, in Vegas, you have three families doing one, each one willing to help for a price. So we need, we need Nero. We need um, Majory. Yes, please. Majory. Mama, where is she? Yes. No, we're not there. Ah. Uh, we get more political by which I, I want. So, over to a day. Wealthy contacts. But really, Family Man. Family Man is up next, which would be great, great, great. And... There we go. We got it. 
followed up with wealthy contacts. The White Glove Society treats the best and wealthiest people from all across the wasteland, be they barons from the Republic, visiting gangsters from New Reno, or lone wanderers with a fortune to throw at their sluts. We get even better improved relations between tank costs and trade deal opinion factor. Nice! My apologies about that. My phone was, uh, doing something there. So, whatever. We're all family men here. Even if you're men, or not men. If you're men, and not men, you're, you're men anyways. Very nice. Oh! That's not good. <laughs> we get a whole one dollar right now on our budget. A whole dollar. Our abandoner. Oh, the human banquet. Oh, that sounds so nice. You get a little bit more attack. Oh, abandoned cannibalism is going to be painful. I don't want to do that. Er, but we have to. What kind of savage eats a man? The White Glove Society is beyond that, reformed into a proper group of wastelanders with the noblest of intentions, garnering as much wealth as possible from the wealthiest clientele. Yes. All right, so now we have 69.88 money. Not bad. Feels pretty good to make money, right? I wish I could say that. But, hey, hey, whatever, whatever. Uh, make more money. Money, please. Thank you. Cha-ching. And we're moving through this, like this. This seems uh, way too short, but maybe the mod's not done yet or anything, but still. Um, brawling in the streets. NF Vegas 63t underscore desk. All right, I love the description. Um, what do we want here? Do we want Gamora thugs? Spawns four infantry. You get a lot of PP. Top thugs and get more PP. Oh, wait. You lose stability, get more war support. You get war stability and war support with ultra lux thugs. Uh... I like Gamora because it's very sleazy, I guess you could say, but tops. Hmm. Hmm. Anything for caps. I want to do the tops because it's balanced. The tops can feel some flatsy, ritzy fighters. The sort of cats that nobody wants to tangle with unless things are getting desperate. Let's kick him out of the dodge. Kick him out of dodge. They're a threat to us completely. Bring the entertainment inside of the strip. Whoa! Plus four development. That is. Well. A lot of bad words are running through my mouth in excitement. Holy crap. Okay, well, we just went up to level 8. Cool. I'll gladly take that, my friends. Yeah, this mod, I, I, I don't know oh, it's the mod itself. I, I'm going to assume it is, but holy crud. <laughs> Q to 4 division still. Can we? There we go. Can we do this? Ah, we need 6 more PB. It takes so long. As long as the game pierces, I want to get Area 51 done as fast as possible. Oh, we got it. Oh, because we have the PP. Top sucks. Thank you, Tops. Family compensation. All debts got to be paid at some point in time. Now it's time for us to pay, repay ours. Don't worry, though. It was all worth it. Cash expenses goes down. We get more consumer goods. Sure. And I do like using some infantry. From, oh, they have machine guns, too. From time to time, just because, uh, well, you never know if things might go really poorly with robots. And you might not have enough energy to begin with, like especially like right now. Nice. Um, he's enduring, perceptive. He's ooh, he's skilled. He's a hoarder as well, though. Um, I want to save this person back because I'm not really going to be using this army too much. But if you get a more army intel or more leadership experience, I like that. He's enduring because he's got that skill thing, and I love that. And if he's skilled, he's also going to be inspirational. I want them to learn. I want them to grow. I want them to get better. And I want to get some more guys here, such as Philippe. Oh, self so Pacer. Pacer. Oh, we could have gotten that one. Nero, Jessup, Swank. Oh, that's not bad. We are on Wasteland Economy, 10%. It's only 10 PP there. 10 PP for this guy. Well, it costs 100. I can't justify that. I really can't. But I can justify doing that guy. And we'll also grab uh, Miss New Vegas. would be really cool. Benny, yes. And we need, I think, Angelo, right? We need Nero and Benny. Nero and Benny. Nero. Where's Nero? Oh, God. Oh, he's up here. Okay. Uh, we lose some stability. Well, whatever. Benny. Let's get Benny next, because we can. Cool. Uh, arming the chairman. The chairman have always had an eye for what's hip. Be it in nice suits they wear, the snazzy casino they live in, or the soothing rat-a-tat-tat of the underslung Tommy gun that they wield against those unlucky enough to insult their dames. Guns like that don't come cheap, but think we got caps to spare. If you're wondering about these guys, please go ahead. Let them come in for now, I don't really care. They can help out people, probably. So that way we don't have to. Alright, work as needed. Absolutely. Alright, we're doing that as well. Robots looking pretty decent. 
We do need to get some... Oh, secure trunk. Oh, upgrades for these guys. We need Mach 2 operating systems. Most definitely, most definitely. Alright, let's grab some of that then. Very good. Anything else? Uh, begin scavenging program. We could. We need to save our money, sort of. Um, no, no. Get a bonus, but that that's not worth doing at all. Oh, Benny's new deal. The chairman of the most profitable casino on the Strip, and wealth like that lets them throw a lot of weight around when it comes high time for the families to decide what nobody's business is getting, what amount of caps has trickled down from the Strip. Oh, I was kind of rough reading that. Because eventually you do like spend 10 PP for this, and you get some bonuses anyways from medical tech, which is fine. Hire scavenging company, removes 90 days. Oh, so we want to get this one... So we want to get this one done as fast as possible. This is the total amount of days until you get the chip. If you do nothing, you'll get it in six years. Through decisions, you can shorten the time. Which is probably something we want to do. But also, private armies? Family supremacy. We love supremacy. There are what may always be a boss man in New Vegas, but don't let anyone tell you the houses aren't supreme in the areas of trade and commerce, violence, and intimidation. This city would be nothing without them. Absolutely. Um, we can do vehicles. Anything else here? Anything else? Oh, I got planes. Oh, we already did the planes. Okay, crowd control. Crowd control, please. Some family supremacy and private armies. The New Vegas families all feel small legions of armed men and women ready to enforce their will at a moment's notice. A stockpile of weapons like these can be costly, but heavens above, is it worth it in the long run? And aligning the families? Oh, okay, so to this one. If you want to buy that, please, great. We actually need the Joker. That's why this is at the bottom here, so. Oh, well, it is what it is. I think up next we gotta get Nero, right? So. Let's grab some Nero. You, me, and Nero. Thank you. Alright. Addictions for sale. Jet sales, sex sales, mentat sales, everything vice they tell you that you're not supposed to do or have in this life sells pretty darn well. And there's no doubt as to which bastion of vice is the best place to get it on the strip. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Hit me up. Cool. And there he goes, well. What's next? Income report. We could do that. I want so 30 is 30. 60, 60, 90, 90. It doesn't really matter which level you do, so. Uh, let's do that one. Get as scavenging things as we can, why not? At this point, I don't care. So after addictions, mobs are army. The old mantas are always packing heat, explosives, and a thousand other nasty little things. When push comes to shove, they're the closest thing any New Vegas family member has to an army. Countless men looking to prove themselves. Nice. Very nice. Might as well start doing that then. We're going to need a lot of energy. We're going to need a lot of energy. Wow. And we're about to lose some more political power, but it is what it is, my friends. Mobster Army. The Lucky 38 opens. The most prominent element of the New Vegas skyline, the Lucky 38, is a pre-war relic and an enduring monument to Mr. House's vision of Las Vegas. A luxury without decadence, refinement without elitism, and class without snobbery. Yeah, actually, this looks really nice. I don't know why this is here, but we'll take it. And we also have Robco, which is really good as well. Human targeting firmware? Yes, please. Dynamic tactics integration, yes please. Um, six years to get that stuff done. That's extreme, but hey, it's, it makes sense, I guess. The lucky 38 opens. Up next, rapid response team. I like that. Robco returns. Oh yes, Robco Industries was one of the largest and most influential computer and robotics corporations in the pre-war U.S. Within these countless facilities scattered across New Vegas, one can find the potential to create an endless host of automa automatons, auto automatons, automations, automatons. A words. Hello. All right, and let's go to here, to there. Almost done. And well equipped army. So we can build, build, build those factories. Oh, workshops, workshops, not factories. First batch, huh? Production ex expansion. Robots aren't an easy thing to make, and expanding your facilities further will allow us to focus on cranking them out in mass. Why not? Small arms innovation. If you're about that, please go ahead. The common man of Vegas deserves a cut that's above the rest. It's unre It's reasonable to be unreasonable when it comes to spending caps on firearms. After all, we're gonna research that because we can. Literally, that's the only reason why. So now let's help out our guys here. Research speed would be nice. Let's get some water. We might need water. I'm not exactly sure, but we might need it later on. So, resource wise, actually we need energy. Water would be fine one time. Um, war labs, why not? War never changes, but the weapons we use in it most certainly do. If we're going to fight our foes, we'll need to evolve just as the Wasteland has. And this is a, a four-day focus. It seems like it should be a 40-day focus, maybe, but four? Like, don't get me wrong, I love short focuses, but still. Just like the simulations. House was running tactical s simulations long before the world fell apart. Sit in these can give a good insight into how to go about fighting your enemies out in the Wasteland. And I'm almost out of coffee. Oh, my goodness, so bad. Outer Vegas Security. 
The Outer Vegas security force is the closest thing to a standing non-robotic army for New Vegas has had since the families rolled into town. Volunteers are one of the best the strip can provide, risking their lives to protect the interests of the city. Secure Tron Deployment Line the BDQ 88B is a Securetron produced by House Industry supports only two operating systems, Mark 1 and Mark 2. The Mark 1 operating system lacks drivers for these auto repair systems and explosive weapons, limiting the robots often to be built in X25 Gatling laser and 9mm machine gun. Um, oh, that's not bad. Rapid Response Network. If the Mojave and New Vegas are to survive, we need to be able to defend any corner of it at a moment's notice. This means investing in a crumbling infrastructure. One, two, three, four places to get whole one infrastructure. Not bad. Uh, vehicle restoration, uh, H&H Grand Tools Grand Reopening. H&H Tools Factory was a house's family-owned company, Robert House's half-brother, Anthony House. She did the inheritance of the company from Mr. House when their father died. Anthony House suffered from paranoia, which led to increasingly severe security measures at the company between 22, or 2020 and 2023. It's taken this long to get the doors open again. Ah, uh, right now. It's literally doing it right now. Oh, my goodness. Barrage balloons, thank you. This feels so... It, it feels like we're cheating, I'll be honest. It really feels like we're cheating with this, with this going so, like... Fast? Holy crap. Do, do any of these other guys have, like... They're doing new leadership. No, they're, they're still struggling. Uh, seven days, seven days, seven days. Okay, maybe not. 60... Yep, yep. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, wow. That, this is weird. This is really weird. <laughs> oh, well. You know, we started this. We're going to continue with this, then. Uh, let's see. Better robots. Lose defense. Uh, this is all okay. We'll do outside battalions as well. Actually, a refugee assimilation factors. I like that. You get no, more non-core manpower. Daily compliance. Goes, ah, I'll get that one. Why not? Screw it. Let's do it. Uh, anything else on the left side here? Yeah, we can do economic miracle, but I don't want to lose our PP yet. We get a lot of stability, so we can wait for that. So everything over here, we're pretty much going to be doing first. Um, expanded deployment. The construction of the PDQ-88 security drone is a priority for the people of New Vegas. As this reliable and steadfast medium robot has been a symbol of the city's defensive capabilities for decades. Expanding deployment isn't cheap, but it's utterly worthwhile. Vehicle restoration. Now, h, &H Tools Grand Reopening as well. Another city. Reclamation 3. The old drill secrets will be ours. And faster security robot production. Yes, please. Zaps Neon Signs. Once a major sign manufacturing company, Zaps Neon Signs once even lit up New Las Vegas Strip itself. Now they're more known for being used as an impassable perimeter walls. Great. I love cities. And... Yeah, this is, this is cheating. This is, this is literally just gotta be cheating. <laughs> oh, I love it. And strong back rooted. I will go with rooted later on. Uh, which one has the robot one? Gun nut. Ah, robot expert. That's good. Uh, anything else here? We could do that stuff. I don't really feel like spending money yet. And we have 106. We can do it once. Why not? There you go. And, oh yes. Rebuild a Vegas sewage system. Sewage is one of the lost commodities of the old rule that only a handful of places can truly understand or appreciate. But soon enough, everyone in New Vegas will know the joy that can be brought by such facilities. Very nice. Recruitable population factor goes up by 10%. Nice. A total of 18 army XP, a vehicle restoration. A lot of places in the wasteland like to put cars back together. We're a bit behind in the uptake, but New Vegas is more than capable of sustaining that industry. Might as well invest in it, right? Cool, and actually, since we're here, let's make more money. Alright, well, it's weird to say, but we've already promoted New Vegas to the top level of economic ability. Uh, first batch. The first batch of freshly minted Securitrons from the newly rebuilt facility rolled off the belt just hours ago. While Securitrons isn't a new side of New Vegas, robots with fresh coat of paint and shiny new weapons certainly are. Nice. Handy Serviceman. Mr. Handy Robots are utility robots created by General Atomics International, with further development and designed by Robco Industries. Although they were designed as General Chore Automatons, they are quite capable of defending themselves with their flamethrower and buzzsaw. Gutsy Sergeants. Mr. Gutsy is a line of military robot models created by General Atomics International. It's a militarized version of a Type 1 Mr. Handy. Gutsy models are armed with a plasma gun, roughly equivalent to a plasma pistol, for long range combat. At close range, the robot relies on his flamethrower. Yes, please. And I do love a good flamethrower. Ooh, burn me, baby. Hmm. That's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't care. Um, since we're here, what do we want here? Anything here? Oh, New Vegas Clinic, that's not bad. Um, the King would be nice. Civilian Factory Construction Speed. I like this one a little bit more. The Duke. Yeah, that's not too bad. Philippe? Philip? Um, I'll probably honestly choose this one. Uh, Economy, Trade, and Conscription. Well, 
I'm not really going to change the economy a lot probably again. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Trade law, probably not. But we do get more stability. Uh, actually, can we do... Yeah, focus on the eternal sphere and stuff like this. <sighs> Is that really worth it? Not really worth it, I'll be honest. Um, ah, screw it, just go for this guy. There you go. Gutsy sergeants. It's, this is such cheating. It's such cheating. <laughs> it's alright though. It's, a, it's still okay. I haven't played New Vegas in a long time and I, I had no idea what this model was going to be, but RoboBrain strategists. RoboBrains are multi purpose robots. Their memories and programs are stored inside an, in, in an organic and par or partially organic brain contained in a domed shell atop the chassis. They're considered intuitively superior to most robots as human brains allow them a wider range of responses and functions. Um, sure, we'll go with that one too. Another robot? Good. Good, good, good. Mm. Need more money, but then again, don't we all? Don't we really all? Cool. And I, like I said, I, I, I should have taken the one that was minus 30% just uh, Justify World Goes Times, but whatever. Robot, Sentry Bot, and Forces. Sentry Bots, military serial numbers SBXXXX, are security robots made before the Great War with the express purpose of participating in the heaviest of fights during warfare. Or during war. Also, I don't think I said this yet, but we are on a historical, so we'll see what happens. I want to go to war immediately. I don't want to wait. Cool. Hopefully, we can do well. Do we actually? Oh, we don't have any planes yet, darn. Because I want to get fight them as fast as I possibly can. These, these guys, I, I just want to go to war. I just want to. I just want to wall up people. I just want to just. I just want to kill people. <laughs> okay, don't don't take that out of context, but like. <laughs> Some things are better left unsaid. Quality, I usually do quality. I like quality a lot more. I like it when our, our robots are harder. They hit harder, they do They do harder. They establish dominance harder, I guess, I don't know, whatever. Global warfare. Vehicles are great for trade, but they are just as valuable in times of war. A small force of eager young souls has formed a scout, small scouting group on behalf of Vegas. Yeah, we're gonna be done with our focus too by the end of this episode or the next, like, holy crap. But getting here done, getting this area done, and being able to core this area is going to be super, super important. So we can just expand, 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 expand. Uh, that seems okay for now. Let's see. And, uh, I don't like those things. And uh, goodbye and boom. Boom, boom. There you go. Do what you can. Militia arms. The local militias from each other little settlements and communities have requested weapons with which to defend themselves. Selling them at a discount is a good way to ensure our safety and sustainable business. Oh, look at these guys. Do I really want to use these guys? Not really, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to use them in this campaign, so goodbye. Sorry. But thanks for the manpower. I appreciate it. And are you learning? Yes, you should be. Hills Fighter? Yes, 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 yes. It's a struggle. Just like anything worthwhile in life, it's definitely a struggle. And you might want to help support the attack. There you go. Militia arms. The Boomer Agreement. The Boomers of the North are a bit of a wild card when it comes to interaction. Half as likely to blow you to pieces as they are to engage in the same conversation. But the promise of plans is enough to bait them into official alliance with New Vegas. Um, yeah, might consider going to Area 6 next. And struggling here is fine with us. I mean, we'll get more manpower, or more XP, I guess you could say. There you go. There you go. The Boomer Agreement, followed up with... Um, with something else. Oh, we'll do economic miracle. Oh, it's going to pay, be painful. New Vegas is going to need to thrive like it did before the war. In order to do that, it's going to need trade, gambling, and all the vices one can imagine. It's not hard to bring about, mind you, and I know that the New Vegas will be an economic miracle, just like Vegas was before the bombs fell. Oh, we're going to lose so much pee, pee I don't like it when we lose pee, pee That sounds painful. But if you can't fight people, beat them up. Becoming health fighter? Nice. There we go, the Sky Reavers. Ah, very good. Um, grab a territory. I kind of want to take on the White Legs immediately. I'll be honest, I really kind of want to right now, but we don't have enough division for them. These guys will have to die, so that's okay. Oh, I didn't even put you on, like, going crazy mode. Okay. Interesting. Economic miracle. Uh, let's talk about preparing the city. If New Vegas is to grow, which you'll need well unimaginable. Thankfully, it is ideally situated to attract just that, with rivers and roads leading to it for miles around. We must simply wait and prepare New Vegas for the wealth that is to come flooding in. Cool. Followed up with a separate Vegas. As it is to be admitted, the poor of New Vegas leech wealth from the Strip. They come in masses. Build building debts they can never repay. Destabilizing the delicate balancing act that has brought us just such wealth. 
Freeside should be walled and away from New Vegas, and if they seek to spend caps here, let them prove they have the caps in the first place. Nice. What are we building? Uh, not enough. That's a real question. That's a real answer, actually. Because then we gotta. Because now that we've Area 51, we could probably actually like investigate and stuff. So that'd be actually really nice to do. Cool. Now let's AF all the space. Yeah, I don't know how long of a campaign this is actually going to be with this. That's operating the way it is. Robco, yes. Robco Human Resources, nice. I almost get 1.17. That's not too bad. That's bad. Hey, let's, let's get the rumors immediately. Segregate. Ah, we love segregating. Vault 21. The vault below New Vegas is a source of great pride for the people of New Vegas. It could also be a source of great wealth. The secrets and resources in its lower levels are vast and important, yet it can be easily made into a simple and affordable method of housing the best clientele. Yeah, earlier when we blew up that thing and we didn't get any money from it, I should have just gone ahead and done what we needed to do with it. Like, oh, that's not bad. I don't want to spend the money for that, though, because we'll get no compliance anyways, but... I should have taken the caps. Should have taken the caps. I regret that now. Now I know. It's a little bit ahead of time, but whatever, I don't care. Um, after Vault 21. Oh, the fate of Vault 21. Vault 21 It was a pre-war experiment set up by a Vault Tech to observe how society based around gambling would function in isolation. Surprisingly, unlike numerous horror stories found in the wasteland, this vault got by without complications. Due to its good condition and living inhabitants, there are two options for what can be done with the vault. It could be stripped of all its useful resources and tech, or it could be converted into a large casino and hotel of its own. Convert it. Any more population, stability, you lose caps, and uh, worst part, strip it. Oh, I like the stripping. I like it a lot. But, oh, convert it. I don't want to lose more money. Wait, wealthy clientele. You get more population, stability, you lose some worst part of money. Stripped of its all its usefulness. Wait, why, why can't you do both? Why can't you strip it? And then convert it to a casino? Hmm. I mean, we could really use more resources, but if we're going to be really conquering a lot, I mean, we could use that stuff now. We could really use that stuff now. And it's a bad idea to pass up free resources. No, we'll strip it. I don't want... I really don't want to strip it. But whatever. Cerulean Robotics. The abandoned Cerulean Robotics facility, located just west of Freeside, has been out of operation since the bombs fell. Or feel. I didn't know bombs feel, but they apparently do. Now that Vegas is thriving and the majority of the former Robco installations are up and running again, it only makes sense that such a facility be converted. Now, I really do wonder when um, these guys are going to start attacking us. We definitely need to get some more energy here. Holy crap. Yeah, we got to focus a little more on resource production. Um, Okay, we're maxed out here. That's, not, that's really not good. Do that one second. We need more energy. Followers support. The followers of the apocalypse arrived in Vegas before House emerged from his coma and were working to civilize the city for the betterment of mankind. It's not easy to earn their support, and they are idealists in the purest form. Their knowledge of medicine is vast and could prove to be quite the boon to our cause. Actually, after this... Uh, oh, I forgot about this stuff. We need to actually send trade out trade notes. I t completely forgot about that stuff. Uh, 9, 16, 62, North Phoenix. North Phoenix is really wealthy. Went over already. Yeah. North Phoenix is really good to do. There you go. That's really nice now. That's actually pretty nice. Cool. Pretty good. We can't do any of this. Oh, the plot is underway. Okay, well, I guess we'll do Kickstart Vegas. There are dozens of little shops and smaller casinos decorating Vegas, and among them, an insurmountable number of poor and impoverished people. Funding these shops where they might employ these people would help kickstart the little economy that isn't dependent on the tourism we have. All right, everyone. So right now we are doing the walls of New Vegas. New Vegas is a coveted location. Even now, the Ancian Legion make moves to vie for its control. The wills, and of course, the thoughts of its rulers and people be darned. Protecting the city is a priority to all who care for such things. And protecting the city is exactly what we intend to do. And we also can talk about <clears throat> Jane's comfort very soon, or at least next. And the flesh is weak. Oh, the flesh is so weak. <sighs> Jane's comforts. Sometimes a man just needs a little comfort in their life. Oh, yeah. Followed it with Love, Maryland. Sometimes a man just needs his girls to keep a clear head and house preserve the best of pre-war America just for him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that stability. Very nice. I, I just realized that this is a 190-day justify time on these guys. That's insane. Oh, there goes the Mojave chapter. I should the Mojave chapter again sometime. But now, we've literally gone through the entire focus tree that we can for now. Um, so this is very weird. Oh, we... Courier 6. Wow. Oh, if you like to read about the secret meatloaf. Uh, well, obviously you need to see it first. But if you like to read about that, please go ahead. Boom. And the NCR is killing well, a lot of people. A lot of people. And sometimes that's okay. So maybe I really should have chosen. Um, the Justify World Goes Times to go down by 30%. Because 
Yeah, that's not good right now. Not good. Uh, we're two points in. Oh, divide and conquer. Oh, well, let me read about this. Disturbing rumors have been circulating on the strip for the last few days. Rumors of dock money and illegal weapons being smuggled across Vegas' mighty walls. According to the few sober sources we can find, it seems that the weapons are being run into a variety of New Vegas' families for seemingly little reason. But the origin of these weapons and caps seem even tougher to find, but we have some reason to believe the guns may come from none other than the NCR Rangers themselves. If these facts can be corroborated. They pose a serious change in policy from the Mojave Territories and may even indicate an attempt to coup is on the horizon. Regardless, the weapons are under this destabilize the delicate balance of power between the New Vegas families. We must be careful. Worrying, to say the least. And I think that's a Mojave Territories focus, right? Oh, did they finish their stuff too? Oh, they did. Maybe it's not just us. Maybe Why is it a four-day focus? Because I know I remember I did that one too when I played as Mojave Territories before. Um, this one. Ah, okay. Maybe it was that one? Let's go against the world. Make New Vegas... Yeah, they have a four-day focus... What is going on here? Four days? Uh, for the generic one, it's still normal. How, oh, how about you guys? Um, no, it's still 30-day focuses. 30-day focuses, yeah. This is weird. I've never had this happen before to me. Um, 45 days? No, 7, 7, 7, which makes sense, I guess. But uh, 45, 45, yeah, no, this is... This is very strange. This is incredibly strange, I'll be honest. Um, I think from here on out, I'm just going to maximize this one out as fast as possible so we get at least some better just fly World Ghost times. Since we're getting so much PP anyways, uh, unless someone here can give us... I mean, obviously we can't do the false con, con which sucks, but whatever. Um, we'll probably get more defense, better supply consumption as well with this guy up here too. And... Ooh, that's not bad. Militia Leader Mech is not too bad, but eh, it's not super important. Uh, Merchant Spies, Max Instruction is pretty good, The Art of Haggling, more Hardness, we like that. We like more Soft Attack too, and Piercing, Unpredictable AI is okay, it's not that, that one's not great. Um, yeah, overall not too bad, I'm just, I wish, I realized that we needed to get more, uh, just five World Ghost Top Thugs, that is 16 combo, the Top Thugs are 10, with guns on them, Decode Signals. Uh, grab some Research Speed, it's a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay for now, we don't even have another Research Slot, too. Uh, we're, we're literally maxed out on everything here, so I guess we'll just keep building for now, maybe? And this is why I want to go to war as fast as possible. I mean, we got to build, 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 build. And actually taking their territories. If I remember correctly, that's resistance, compliance. They got a little bit of energy here too. And it's not much. After this, I kind of want to kill these guys off too. But uh, we might go to the fiends. Yeah, we might go to the fiends. Because they have a lot, quite a few resources. Not a lot, but quite a few resources. So, Even though, if we do that, that does open us up to more attacks from the Mojave territories. If they were to attack us. Which is obviously not very good, but still. Steal some tech. Go and form a department, that's fine with us. Eight, now good, good, good. Actually, how about we go over here first? Bomb station two, I'll go with these guys. How long is it going to take? 190, oh my gosh. They immediately attack us. You know what, let them struggle. I'm, I'm fine with being war for now then. Ah, screw it, let's just go in. Let's go in, because we only have so many days for our energy cells, so. It's best to just go in now. Losses, two versus 104. Second massacre, bitter springs. No massacre here, no massacre. Actually, trade. It wasn't near straight. No, besides Ranger Citadel, Flagstaff. Ooh, Wendover's all the way up there. Oh, that's really far away though. Refined construction. So, yeah. Um, there go the great cons. Um, flexible designs are nice. Grab some of that because we need that pretty much immediately. Uh, I'll have everyone train here too. <sighs> Which infantry template do we want to use? Tops. I mean, that's ten. If we do three more, one, two, three to get up six. That's 15, so really, it's these guys we want to probably use, and then go with whatever here. We don't have any other support equipment, though. We haven't researched any, anything else, so... Hmm. That's, that's okay to use. Manual labors. Uh, how much money do we have? 210 is not bad. We, don't want, we do want to get this chip done as fast as possible, though, so... Uh, that one as well, and... I know the building slot. I like the building slots. Demilitarization. You are insane. Mr. House rules with an iron fist, whether you like it or not. Actually, now because of that, we can actually build up some more ooh, stuff here first, too. Oh, we do need core stuff, too. So let's do that, and then we'll do this as well. Give them our energy. Two cents clear on Cowboy Country. Uh, actually, which way are the Desert Rangers going? I need to play the Western Brotherhood, because I've heard, like, the, like this, at the time of this recording. Oh, more sand, that sucks. I hate sand. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. Um, with this, this is actually really difficult to play as, but I, I actually want to try it out sometime. Then again, I know people are going to tell me in the comments, I need to try the... Think Tank, and I, I forgot about that. Yes, I do. I definitely need to try the Think Tank. I forgot about that one, too. Uh, go ahead and investigate rumors again. Thank you. There goes Warden. Nice, nice, nice. Invisible Ink. We'll get another guy here soon, which would be good. I just want to get more money, man. 
refugees. There's not a lot of refugees who come here. Um, every state gets 54 population. I mean, that just makes it stronger, I guess, for now. Keep going with this one. Better just five Wargos times. We do the best we possibly can. Also, take over Petro Chico is really nice. Yeah, this is very weird with the focuses like this. It's This is very strange. Actually, where's compliance or resistance? is going down. Compliance is at 70%. It's not too bad. I, I would like to core all these states, too. So that's why I want to get as much PP as possible. We have a lot of PP. Wow. Um, I do want to core Area 51. I just want to core everything we have here. Actually, but there, no, Air, I thought, for some reason, I thought Area 51 was a trade node. Ranger Citadel, Shady Sands, New Vegas, obviously, is really good. Wendover. Oh, it's going to take so much time to get all the way up north and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. Slater, Linguist, Heavyweight. Yes. Yeah. We'll do that. Gecko Pet. That's not bad. All right. Not bad. Keep training. Keep making more divisions. That's fine with us for now. And don't even bother me with that. Cause there you go. And then there you go. And, well, without reading any focuses, though, it's not great. But, and we don't have things to look forward to. But we just keep blazing on through this. And since we're here already, Military Academy training. Yes. So we have maxed it out to the best tour of our abilities for now. Uh, grab some of that. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Bottle Shock Mac. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. That's not bad. Actually, we've gone through 112 days already. Like, we are trying to beeline through this immediately. Uh, better planes? No. Uh, scout equipment? I'd rather, honestly, use power armor than that right now. But I can see that could be pretty useful. We'll make maybe make maybe make a little bit. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, no guarantees. Interrogation. Some of that. Seed selection's good. Uh, got some of that, too. Basic tools. Researching just things, everything ahead of time. At this point. Uh, at some point, we're going to run out of things to build here, probably. So, here. Build a lot of air bases, just in case. Why not? Why not? We might build a lot of forests as well, because we're, we're doing quite well building ourselves up, so. Um, mm, might as well do that too, why not? Screw it. 15 15 is pretty good. And actually, I'll probably go up to lifetime pensions. Maybe. We'll get more max training. Special Forces cap does go up, but it hurts. Yeah, we need all that money, though. Mm. There you go. Followers for technology. Research speed is okay. Don't really need it too much. Reserved AI. Unpredictable. I almost never choose the one. Actually, I might choose this one instead. But that's not really that good. It really isn't that good. I don't want to lose defense. Clinic. Silver Rush is nice. Advanced generators are very good to grab. Very nice, actually. Uh, that's way too ahead of time for me to really choose that. There you go. Hmm. Vehicles. Canoes. Victoria Flyers. We are going to use this. We're researching it anyways. We'll also get that one immediately. And eventually we will grab every cap for the army. Which would be nice. Uh, all we have left here is Swank. Yeah, I gotta choose the next, I guess. Versus... Uh, stability. It gives you 5% anyways. You might as well go with that guy. And... Combat simulations. More max planning. We love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Since we're here anyways, go and do that too. There you go. I kind of doubt they'll be able to beat us. But you never know. And after that, we're going to be researching a lot more support equipment. So that'll be good. Yeah, this is very weird. Do we have anyone for naval stuff? Anyone for Air Force stuff? No. Outside of battalions are really good. Local leaders, military academy officers. You get more organization, which would help out. You get more special forces cap. Um, You know what? I'm going to let you guys decide. Which one of these four should we choose? Should we choose Subroutine Alpha, Gamma, uh, Beta, or and or Militia Leader Mech? I'll let you guys decide which two of these four should we grab uh, for this campaign. Let me know in the comments below. Swank, you're up next. And before we do anything else, um, I want I want some heavy hitter here. We don't have a lot of divisions, or at least not enough. Um, if we move fast enough, we might be able to beat these guys up. Do they have any anti-tank? They have dynamite. I'm going to risk it. Let's, I want to go to war them. Four more political power. Let's get that first. Nice. Scavenger. Oh, they found something. Look at that. Better in our hands than our enemies. Electronic tech? We'll take it. We'll gladly take it. All right, stop training for now. Oh, oh, I said stop, please. Go right ahead when you can. And actually, that's a really bad idea, but we do have planes here, maybe? No, we don't. Okay. Never mind. And we do need to keep some of our PP, too. There you go. Uh, we're going to win immediately, pretty much. What the casualties like? 29 versus 0? I mean, I've had a better casualty ratio before, but still. But at least we got the resources. We got the factories, so we can build ourselves up a little bit more. And happy 2277, everyone. At this point, I think we should start coring stuff. Oh, clearing the suburbs. Oh. Uh, the fiends have dominated the suburbs for New Vegas for too long. They terrorize the people of this great city, abusing the innocent so that they can fuel the empire of addiction. But maybe we like being addicted. 
Maybe not. Okay, so that's, that's actually not too bad. Less than a thousand days. That's actually pretty good. Um, anything up here? We got a lot of money. Not enough, though. Not enough. I don't care if it's a year ahead of time. I don't. I really don't care. We gotta get stuff done, man. This is probably a really bad idea. Uh, you know what? Since we're both here, we gotta do this. Split you in half. Do that. Go there. We're gonna get a new general. Yates. Dragon computer. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. We can mitigate it a little bit by doing inspiration as well, but not much. He's minus 15%. Uh, learning. I hate that so much. Do that. There you go. Train. All of you train. Go ahead and just train. Cool. And we build ourselves up there. And there. And then more sand. I hate sand. It gets course and gets everywhere. God dang it. Do two. And they're doing another one as well. Basic tools are nice. Can we grab any more extraction? Not yet. Let's grab some more manpower first. And can we core anything here yet? Yes, we can. Thank you. Finally, we can core something. Need less manpower. Actually, I think we'll core this side first. Well, we can't do that first yet. Just because we don't have enough PP. And additionally, we can't do it because we don't have enough compliance. So, that sucks. That really sucks. Ah, oh, man. I just hope we'll be strong enough to fight these guys. I really hope so. Definitely need more factories, too. Oh, boy. Definitely, 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 definitely. We have plenty of guns, though. That's really nice. Alright, up next. Can we core you next? Or area, maybe area 51? That's a lot. 249 is a lot. This will be area 6 is better to do. It's much cheaper and you get more resources and you get a factory or two. Still, not bad. Hopefully our defensive core territory is okay. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it'll be good enough. That's why it may be better to core that area first, but we have no area that's actually touching it, so they're going to do that first. Oh, are they doing something else? If they go to war with the timekeepers, which they will eventually, we should do okay, right? Combat simulations are nice, yes. Direct control, soft attack, hard attack, less defense, but more soft attack and hard attack. So you lose 5% defense, waste on autonomy, more factory output. Ooh, more organization. That could be really good for some robots here. That could be really, really, really good for robots. Maybe. Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Um, so near the top? For the entire army, though. Skate. I'm seeing power armor demos, platoons, uh, horsemen, the Gary Hordes, uh, a lot of other stuff. Mole rat cohorts. Okay, so support robot platoon. They get a flat 10. 10. They don't lose anything here. Either. They get better supply use, recovery rate, hardness, armor. Ooh, 5% plus 5%. Or 6%, so it's 11%. 16% more soft attack. 16%. Is that worth it? Versus more autonomy. Now, for more organization, factory output, which is okay. But you get more recovery rate, more hardness, more armor. Um, I'm going to go waste autonomy this time. Oh, yeah. The output, I'm not really concerned about too much. It's just really having enough supplies or enough resources for the output. But, uh, hmm. I think I want more organization. Especially for these heavy robots, I want more organization. Investigate the rumors, that's fine. Now we don't have enough PP. 2.74, just does not feel like enough. It just does not feel like enough. So to do this one, we need rotary engine bombers. So we can do this one. Reconstructing greatness, eventually. Alright. And then we need to get the platinum chip down, but I'll read it anyways because we can. The platinum chip was always the key to the puzzle that was protecting my beloved Vegas. And it remains so to this day. It was recovery shall allow me to awaken my armies and finally guarantee a future for New Vegas. Which would be cool. And build that up a little bit more because we're going to need a lot more energy cells. These guys are going to go to war with the timekeepers eventually. It's a good thing we're doing this right now. 40 more days. Wow, that's a long time. Alright, so we got this area cored. We got this area not cored yet. 97 is not bad. I would honestly prefer to core this part. Yeah, oh, or close. I think we'll core this next. We get 0 0.3 every single day. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ish, whatever. Um, just because if they attack us, then we get defensive core territory, which is really, really helpful. Even though we could use a lot more war support. Oh, these guys are. How are they doing down here? Who's winning? Oh, plant cultivation is nice. Lightweight metals. Um, upgrades for robots, yeah, definitely. Simple circuitry, and I did say I'd do this next, so, or earlier, I guess. Cool. Do that. Do this, and do that. 
North Passage, please, please. Oh, you need more compliance. Ah, that sucks. I'd like to do this area, though. I'd like to do a lot of areas. Ooh, that's a lot of energy we can put in there. Huh. But they don't get defensive core territory, which we might need. I'm, I'm just saying, we might need it, we might not. Uh, this one requires 97. Would we get that in the next few days? The old wall, wall hold. The old world wall holds, which is nice. Uh, I do want to wait to get that one done. Uh, the bomb station. How many resources do they have down here? Not nothing, basically. Oh, they are going to war. We gotta go to war immediately. Um, we'll go to the grabbers. Why not? We're gonna really expand northwards. All right, guys. Three, two, one. They're not gonna hold for that long, so we gotta go now. They attack us immediately, which is fine. Don't really care too much. Uh, we can't do that either. Um, oh, let's go do that one first. Not bad, not bad. We're going to hopefully do okay here. Hopefully they take out the timekeepers, because if we get the timekeepers as well, that'd be very nice. We, we don't want to stop yet, though. We don't want to stop. We want them to get all the way deep in there. Deep, 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 deep. We like it deep. I think it is nice. Keep going, keep going, because I don't want to just find these guys too. We took Frisco City. Once we get the one more station up there, we will probably stop the attacks. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right. So now stop the attacks. Eh, don't stop the attacks. We're, we need to get up closer up there. Why did you abandon the line? What is wrong with you? You can probably pierce us. We've only lost thirty-three versus about a thousand. That's not bad. Expel the rift raft. Is next. That's good. Good, good, good. Get more resources, get more energy, get more stuff like that. Super important. Hopefully we're learning stuff here. Uh, do we have anything up here? No, inspirational. There you go. Learning Desert Fox. Nothing. Stuff. Alright. Not bad. It does help if you plan a little bit more. So get to where you need to go. We'll hang out. And then let these guys die. How many divisions do they have? Up to 35. So let them go ahead, go over there, kill them off. And just take the territory. That's pretty much what we're going to do. Um, I don't mind planning this one out. There you go. There you go. You should do well regardless. Cool. Dirty Harry, huh? Come on, Vault 24. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Actually, these guys are out of, uh, they're out of manpower. I think I might have beat these guys up a little bit too harshly already. Yeah, we only lost 60 guys. Uh... Please don't lose your territory. Oh, they're going to lose it. Uh, if they take one more tile, then we're going to leave it. Come on. I'm going to give us time to get more money in and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, they took it back, but whatever. Just go ahead. I think we pretty much beat the white legs. And these guys will be next at the beginning of the next episode. We'll that one, too. We're good. Thank you. Oh, we won. Sorry, timekeepers. But you ain't going to get our stuff. But I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, if you want to buy that, please go ahead. We're not going to be pushed around by them. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we expand further north into Utah. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.